All right, lads. BSB are you? Big sip of beer review. And today's review, we're going to look at this Austrian lager. It's called Go Gosse Mertzen. We're coming in at 5.2% in a 500ml bottle. Um, my mate Tom, good friend Tom, be working in Austria. I've explained on previous videos. And when he goes working away down various different countries, he brings me back their local beer for, for the channel. So thank you very much, Tom. So the first one we're going to... First Austrian beer we're going to look at, which you brought back, is the Gossa Mutzen. There's the cap if anyone's interested. We have a look at it. So cheers, Tom. I think there was four or five um, beers he brought back. So brilliant. Random beers for the channel, which. Can't fault. Fantastic. Yeah, 5.2% if I haven't said. In a 500ml bottle. Gossa Mertzen. So we are quite, there's a little bit left in the bottle. We've got a straw, straw cutter with a two finger white head, which looks like it's gonna hang around. And you've got slow, very, very slow carbonation rising of the glass. And the aroma. Oh, a nice bready smell. Yeah, that's a that's really much it really. Just a nice bready smell on it. Oh, it smells lovely. Absolutely smells lovely. We're all in. Cheers, Tom. Chin chin, old buddy. Let's have a go. Nice smooth mouthfeel. Low carbonation. There's a massive taste of lemon right in the middle, which turns into a nice malty finish. Nice sip, that's, it. that's a nice, nice sip. Light, refreshing, my first beer of the day. Got some decent weather. Sun's quite, um, probably pick it up, sun blasting in on me. Yeah, really nice. Nice smooth mouthfeel. There's a lemon, there's a lemon taste on it. Um, and then on the back end, there's a nice malty finish. A lingering malty finish as well. Still tasting it now. Well, easy to drink, um, refreshing. He said, I think he flew from Belgium and he had to get a, a train from Austria to Belgium, which is like an eight or, eight or nine hour journey. And he sipped this all the way home, or all the way to um, Belgium. And he, he, all he said was, it's all right. Nothing special, but all right. And that is it's pretty much summed it up, really. It's not, it's nothing special, but it's a decent lager. I'd happily have to drink that again. Um, I am enjoying it. It's, it's a nice lager. Not packed with flavours. No horrible tastes on it. Um, easy to drink. Yeah, that is a nice lingering malty finish as well, which I like. I do like that. One more go. I think I've summed it up, yeah, everything I've said, I think I've summed it up, nothing else to add. Let's have a look at the Big Sip Boulder ability.
yeah, I enjoyed that. Really, really nice. Oh yeah, that multi, that multi finish makes this lager really, really good. I'm gonna give it a big sip right. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half out of ten because I enjoyed that. I'd happily drink that again, and I would recommend that. I think you can get that on the blade machine. If anyone's got a blade machine and fancies an Austrian lager, I think that's available. I probably you would probably struggle to get the bottles around here unless they do appear in a in a European shop. Don't know, but if you ever see that, I do recommend you anyone trying that one. Cheers, Tom. Cheers, lads. More of your skin, more food state. Big soup.